Newly released data indicates that the U.S. economy continues to soar despite trade talk fears and trade war fears and, of course, all of the turmoil in the Trump White House. Now, one report that speaks most about how politics and policies impact the optimism of the public was out today with the Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index. It rose to a 14-year high. This says folks are thrilled about current conditions, and, well, that's this even half of it. I want, I want to dive into this right now, bring in Melissa Armo, uh, Stock Swoosh founder and owner, and John Burnett, New York GOP strategic advisor, One Empire Group founder and CEO. Uh, Melissa, this number was absolutely phenomenal. Then on top of it, we had a jobs report, a jolt report, 6.3 million job openings, 250,000 in construction, up 68% in one single month. Something is going on in this country, in this economy that is absolutely remarkable. People, I hope, aren't listening to the mainstream media. <laughs> Hopefully they're watching Fox. Yeah. I don't know why they watch anything else. Well, actually, the market really rested today, but I think the market's going to wait until next week. So we had all these good numbers in the last seven days. That's true. And the QQQs and Nasdaq made new highs in the last couple of days, but the SPY and the Dow are lagging really because I think we're waiting the FOMC meet. So let's next break Wednesday. it down in a little bit more layman's terms. Okay. The Nasdaq stock sort of took a break this week, led by technology names. They, they took a break. Right. And, and but all these stock, all these stocks, you think, though, the entire market, rather, you're looking next week with the FOMC, meaning the Fed getting together, perhaps as being the catapult or the catalyst yes. to get this rally the re catalyst. reignited. That's a great word, because sometimes the market needs to rest before it makes a big move. And we don't want that big move to be down. We'd be better if the big move was up. So we'll see what they say about interest rates. But all this good data leading up to that leads me to believe that it's going to be a big move up. And right. the technicals are there and the fundamentals are there. The, the data was so good, but what I loved about the Michigan uh, number there, John, was that <clears throat> you look at it, folks, the households that at the bottom one third of, of income, their optimism was up 16 percent in one month. 16 percent. That is unheard of. Unheard of. Right, right. Now, ironically, the top one, the one top <laughs> one third, they were down. They're ones just the elites. They're worried about tariffs and they're worried about upsetting the status quo. But we could already see. Hardworking Americans are getting optimistic. Things are changing in their lives. Absolutely. What we're seeing is that the president's economic agenda is making America money again, <laughs> specifically with the working class. So let's forget about the top 10%. Yeah, let's focus on the bottom. Let's focus on me and, so, and, and, and the Melissa's working, crew. The working people. And you know what, Charles? You know, the strength of, of the economy has, re has not really been seen, right? Because once the disposable income really starts to take effect in terms of the lower taxes, fatter paychecks, and things of that nature. People will buy, you know, the consumer discretionary items that they always buy, but we, we're about to see a surge in new and existing home sales, new cars, and other big ticket items. Uh, and I, I think part of that would be household formation, too. I, I really believe we're going to see a spike in household formation and entrepreneurship things. Again, Absolutely. that sort of faded away. Uh, as someone in the, in the market, though, how worried are you about headline risk? Because it seems like the headlines uh, move the market a lot. They certainly have in the last couple of weeks, whether it's you know, uh, this, this scandal, this, this person being uh, jettisoned from the White House, whatever it is, uh, they have had more impact on the market than hardcore economic data. That's unfortunate, actually, because these things are things, again, the market has really shook off. But right, what's so great about 2018 for the overall market, and this will alleviate fears for anyone watching, is that we're in, a, we're in a, it's a unique situation where technicals and fundamentals intersect. And that's rare. It doesn't happen all the time, but we're setting it up. It's setting up. Remember, tax reform just passed. It's only, what, March? So when those things set up and move forward, it, it's going to override any of the things with the headline risk. Even if you have a little move, we could shake it right off. John, you think that's going to, you see that happening as well? Yeah, I, th I actually agree with uh, Melissa. I also want to know uh, and see and observe how well Cutlow and the president gel. And to see what, what Cutlow actually focuses on, especially in, in, in the um, in Well, we the, know Cutlow's always talked about king dollar, the strong dollar. He doesn't right. like tariffs. And he uh, also likes a strong treasury, too. Right. So on the, on the flip side of this, Mnuchin has already said, listen, it's not, a, you know, a weak dollar is not necessarily a bad thing. So there will be some differences of opinions right off the bat there. Uh, right. That's not a bad thing as long as they can figure out ultimately the, a game plan and everyone sticks to it, right? The difference between uh, the White House in a, a corporate boardroom, you don't see the infighting in the discussions in a boardroom, right? You only see the CEO coming out, giving a spiel. 
With the White House, you see a little bit of the back and forth, but that, like the president said, that is healthy, right? As long right. as it's managed. Right. The one and thing it, is, if you're, if you're not on board with Trump, you're out. And right. you know what? I don't think that's a bad thing. It means that he's going to keep pushing, 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 pushing his agenda right. forward. He's not business as All right. usual. All right. Thank you both very, very much. Hey, by the way, I've got a programming alert.